with millennials being brought up on a steady diet of political correctness between pop culture and education, my concern is the issues you're talking about, we're, we're, we're dying off. You know, like the generations I care about this, they're dying off. And so we have these millennials now, and how are you guys winning them over with this? Because I, th I don't think that the idea of saying that marriage is between a man and a woman to a 20-year-old, and I had my niece just recently freak out when I said that, like I was a horrible person for saying that, and I'm so old and draconian. How are you finding, how are you reaching them and making them understand we're not bad people because we have certain religious convictions or traditional values? Um, I'll take a first stab at that. Um, I noticed you directed that question on the marriage side of thing and not the uh, right to life side of thing. On all the, but all right, so I, I would put it this way. I could envision someone asking a question very much like yours 40 years ago, right after the Roe v. Wade decision, saying, look at all the young people. They're turning against you on the right to life. Um, the only people who are opposed to abortion are the elderly. And a generation from now, there won't be a pro-life movement. That, would, that could have been a possibility. Um, but instead, courageous pro-lifers really got to work. Uh, they started organizing. Um, right after the Roe v. Wade decision, we had the first March for Life. 42 years later, next week, uh, we'll have another March for Life. And when you look at this, you will see several hundred thousand people marching, and the vast majority of them will be millennials. And that's how it's been more or less since the beginning. And what's amazing right now is when you look at the public opinion polling on abortion, um, it's that my generation is more pro-life than my parents' generation. And so there's no reason why the same thing can't happen on the question about marriage. Now, my generation never has had to think through very critically what marriage is. Um, we've largely lived in a culture that has made a mess of marriage. Um, so we come of age after the sexual revolution, after the introduction of no-fault divorce, uh, where the majority of our contemporaries are born outside of marriage. It's not surprising that we're confused about what marriage is. Um, but that's no reason to give up on it. Um, Serious work can be done making the case for what marriage is and why it matters and why we ought not redefine it and why in those states where it has been redefined, why we ought to reclaim the truth about marriage. And it may take a decade, it may take four decades, um, but that's the work that we have to do. 